My name is Aaron Shafawalaf, and today I'm going to be interviewing Tom Hobson. Tom, where do you hearken from? I, I'm an Air Force brat, but eventually we settled in the St. Louis area on the east side of the river. So I come to you from Belleville, Illinois, where I um, uh, graduated from high school, um, went on to um, seminary at Gordon-Conwell on the east coast, and um, spent several years, uh, spent uh, from eight, 1983 to about 2006 in full-time ministry, went to get my PhD in biblical studies at Concordia Seminary in St. Louis, and I've done a couple of interim churches since then, and otherwise I'm officially retired, although I retired from four years teaching at, uh, at a uh, Bible college in Southern Illinois. Now you just published a book. I have it here with me called The Historical Jesus and the Historical Joseph Smith. Could you explain uh, the premise of the book? Well, actually, that's my second book. First oh. one is called What's on God's Sin List for Today. But yeah, the, uh, uh, the latest is The Historical Jesus and the Historical Joseph Smith. It, it uh, arose, well, it's kind of in a way, it's been a... Um, it's been the culmination of 42 years that I've had a heart uh, for the LDS people. And um, instead of God calling me to be a Protestant pastor out there, uh, one day I, uh, I'd been, we spent two months uh, volunteering to help start the Coffee Depot, um, Christian coffee uh, shop down in Mount Pleasant, uh, Utah. And while I was there, I was blogging. And when I got back, I, uh, one of my colleagues at the church where I was affiliated said, uh, Tom, why don't you put this into a book? And I said, oh, no, I absolutely hate trying to find a publisher and I hate marketing. But at any rate, uh, basically, uh, I had been teaching a class on, the, on uh, uh, the facts on the historical Jesus and how do we know things really happen regardless of what, you know, uh, even if you don't believe the Bible, there are certain things that uh, nevertheless uh, even skeptics have to admit are true about the historical Jesus. And it occurred to me, why don't we do something like this about Joseph as well? Mm -hmm. And so I tried to create a book that would be safe to give uh, or loan or whatever to um, LDS, uh, friends, family, uh, whoever, um, because it's uh, centered not on stuff said by Joseph's enemies, but, uh, but focused entirely on the things that are undeniably true about Joseph, either because he said them himself or it came from those closest to him. Um, and so that uh, uh, it's basically a combination of everything I would love to, to share with a, uh, an LDS person uh, if I could sit down and talk to him for, for a couple of hours. 